So how can we tell if we are metabolically flexible or inflexible? Let's talk today about my little friend, the Lumen device. Before we begin, please remember to hit the subscribe and the bell to be notified when I post new videos. I try to post them every Friday. That really helps the channel grow and helps me continue to make gut and health and metabolic health and hormone health related functional medicine videos. So speaking of that, I am Dr. Shelley Meyer. If for those of you who are new, thank you for joining me here. And for those who are coming back, thanks so much for coming back. I am a functional medicine doctor, a registered dietitian, a family doctor, so I'm all of those things and that's why I make a lot of content here on YouTube for gut health, hormone health, and metabolic health. So I have tons of videos, I've been doing this since 2019, so there's a lot of information out there for you to look at related to those topics and I'd love your support in that to this week and last week and I think the week before that I've been talking about metabolic health in particular and there's also some other videos you can check out on insulin resistance but today we are going to talk about um, the Lumen device. So I like to be the guinea pig and check out, I mean, not that anybody, nobody's ever tried the Lumen device. There's a lot of people on YouTube talking about it, but um, I like to test it before I use it with my patients and my functional medicine practice. So I had a recent video about the food marble device for testing for SIBO, and that's a whole different kind of breath testing. But this device, the Lumen device, is about uh, metabolic flexibility and metabolic hacking for lack of a better term. Um, so that uh, is it's completely different from the food marble testing. So what is metabolic flexibility? So if you haven't checked out the last two weeks of videos, I recommend you checking them out. But basically we can get stuck in metabolic inflexibility where we're burning our carbs and we're not able, and then we're storing our extra glucose and we're not able to switch over into fat burning mode. I was listening to Thomas DeLauer, I think is what his name is. I know that's his name, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. He's on YouTube, a uh, trainer, uh, fitness guy, expert, nutritionist, um, talking about railroad tracks almost. So you get stuck on one railroad track on the carb burning and then you're track switch gets rusty you can't switch over into the fat burning so you're just stuck on that track and can't can't change so that's one way to look at it as you know being metabolically inflexible so on my first video in this series i talked about why would you be metabolically inflexible well let's review that a little bit why would you tend to uh, burn through your carb um carb you know, use carb as a fuel source store it and not burn through your fat stores is what I was trying to say. Well, it could be from stress, from lack of sleep, from inflammation, from inflammatory diseases like chronic diseases like diabetes or heart disease. Um, it could be from eating a high carb diet, from snacking, from not balancing your meals, um, even from related to like hormone imbalance. I didn't talk about that, but menopause and hormone imbalance can be a stress on the body and, and cause more of that. So if you're, you know, looking into any of those things, I have a lot of topics on those individual, I mean, I have a lot of videos on those individual topics, but let's look at last week's video also went into the metabolic flexibility diet, but let's look at this device. So how can we use these, de this device, this Lumen to be more metabolically flexible? How does Lumen help us with that? Well, Lumen can help us by tracking the CO2 in our breath. So what we do, I don't have the app open here, but I'll just show you what I mean by in our breath. You breathe in. You hold for 10. I didn't hold it for the full 10. And then you breathe out into it. So all the meantime, or all the while, while you're doing that, you're going to be looking at your app on your phone and you're going to be watching this little green ball go into the goal range, holding for 10 and then exhaling that green ball into the goal range. And so that will tell us your carbon dioxide flow. So your it, it measures carbon dioxide and when the body is in high, when the body produces a lot of carbon dioxide or when it's exhaling a lot of carbon dioxide into the device, that means you're in carb burn. And when you have low CO2, that means you're in fat burn. So that's how it's helping and that's how it can, it can measure um, 
your metabolic flexibility. And it, based on that, it provides you with a score, a measurement of what you're burning carbs or fat. So you'll look at, and I'll show some screenshots of the app, but you'll look at your score and let's say you're um, burning mostly fat, then you're going to be in a one. That's the lowest score is one to two is kind of your goal you're trying to get into. And then, um, less ideal is a four or five and the kind of three is in the middle, obviously. So four to five would be that you are burning carbs. Now th that can be appropriate. Like you would expect it after, right after a balanced meal, but you wouldn't want to continue in that higher score, higher carb burning for hours after the meal. So that would mean that you're not you're not metabolically flexible and you're not able to switch. And so if your scores aren't changing like that, you're metabolically inflexible. We're going to talk more about the overall score that it gives you, the level, the lumen level. And then your, your lumen can help guide you to pre-workout nutrition as well. So they have different um, tracks you can follow, you choose when you get on the, the app. So you can choose um, if fitness is your goal, like better fitness, you know, competitive, that kind of thing. Or you can choose if weight loss is your goal or just metabolic flexibility in general is your goal. And um, there's one more option. I can't remember what it is. But um, you then will uh, get a different track. And, and it, what I was going to say was if you are in the fitness tracking as your goal, you or fitness improving as your goal, you will um, be prompted to probably eat more uh, protein. You will be prompted to eat more protein, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So anyway, pre, <laughs> that's, I got off track. The pre-workout use of Lumen can help not only if you're on that fitness tracking or fitness improvement track, it also can help if you are um, looking at your workouts to see if your workouts, which workout gets you into carb burning versus fat burning and which one would keep you there, or if you need to fuel more appropriately for your workouts. So sometimes if we're fasting too long, if our body gets into a state of stress and we're exercising, then we may not be fueling appropriately and the lumen can help you with that. But sometimes we benefit from exercising in a fasted state. So it's good to check this, not only the most important check is when you wake up in the morning to use this but it's also good to check it before your workouts to know if you're fueling for your workouts appropriately so checking it before your workouts and then 30 minutes after your workouts can be super helpful to know if your workout if your nutrition for your workouts is appropriate and that you know we haven't had a device in our pockets like this that we could do that with in the past you could go into sports medicine laboratories or um you know, fitness facilities and have something like this tracked through their metabolic carts, which are better than this. But this is a great, you know, scientifically validated way to do it at home. So if you see a drop in your lumen level, um, that would suggest your body has metabolized those carbohydrates for energy during a workout. And then it's, it's used, you might have a higher you know, you would probably have a higher lumen level. One of those one through five scores be more in the four to five right after a workout. But then the great flexibility sign would be after shifting after a workout, a couple hours after a workout, let's say back into the lower score, the one to two. And that would tell you if you're able to be metabolically flexible and that workout was supportive and you were fueled appropriately. So after four to eight weeks of your lumen device getting to know you and one thing before I move on is I was in a difficult relationship with my lumen device in the beginning. We were not friends because I wasn't good at inhaling and exhaling like I should. So don't get frustrated. Just keep practicing. Watch some of the prep videos and you'll get it. You know, it sounds like it wouldn't be complicated, but for me, for some reason it was, but I got it after a bit. Um, so anyway, you need to get to know, you guys need to date for a little bit, you and your lumen, and get to be friends and get to know each other before it can tell you how um, metabolically flexible you are. So it get, every week, after like, I think four weeks, that it gives you uh, a, a score, a flexibility score. And the more you check, the more it can, just like the more you date, the more somebody gets to know you. The more you check, the, the easier it will be to get to know you, and it might give you that flexibility score a bit sooner. So um, it's a measurement of the evaluation of your metabolism 
based on the one to five scoring that you get and it gives you a, a flex score so it's a different it's not in that one to five lumen level it gives you a flex score between zero and six meaning your metabolism is not yet flexible and seven to 14 meaning you are more metabolically flexible and then 15 through 21 meaning your metabolism is very efficient so I've now gotten into the metabolically flexible, but I'm barely in it. I've just been using this a month, so I'm barely in it. But it's nice to see that progress, that my score is getting better, my um, my flex score. And I, and I am understanding that, yes, I've been eating low carb for quite a long time, but I've probably been stuck in that too low carb for too long and not had carb days. And my body, body got used to that and now isn't great with carbs and I'm probably wasn't fueling my workouts appropriately and putting myself more into a stress state and therefore being more inflamed, less metabolically flexible, more insulin resistant, and gaining more weight. So this is turning around, but it's taking some time. So be patient with it, but it is interesting to see those scores change. It's also interesting that, so Lumen, my, what is my next point? Sorry, I have to look at my notes. Oh, the, the macro state. But before I go on to that, um, let me know if you've tried the Lumen in the comments. Let me know if you've done any metabolic flexibility testing. Let me know if you've been playing around with trying, trying to get to be more metabolically flexible, or let me know any questions in the comments. So sun is getting really low. I'm getting really shadowy in here, isn't it? So um, you'll receive a plan on your app. So the Lumen comes with an app. I forgot to mention that. That's where you're getting your Lumen scores. That's where you're getting your Lumen levels. That's where they're prompting you and coaching you. Um, you're going to get one month of free coaching on your app, but I'll go into that in a little bit. So after you do your score, your breath, it gives you that score, and then it tells you what your macronutrients should be for that day. And it does that based on you know your metrics that you've measured in and your score and what your goal is. So if you're trying to lose weight, it's probably on a higher lumen score day, like the four to five kind of day, it's gonna give you a low carb day. Interestingly though, the low carb days for me are higher the carbs than I've ever eaten in the last four years. So that's where I've been trying to train myself to be more metabolically flexible as I've been going like, it's okay, it's okay to improve, increase the carbs. There are whole carbs, I've been adding oats, I've been adding some granola, I've been adding some um, more rice, you know, whole grain rice. I've been adding some more potatoes with skins. Um, so that is the real food. You wanna add real carbs, not processed carbs. You're not going to be adding, you know, lots of crackers and cookies and bread and all that. That's going to put you more into insulin resistance, inflammation. Not a good way if, if you are eating low carb, super low carb like me, and you're having to add more carbs, even for your low carb days, make sure they're actual real nutrition and real carbs, real food. So um, that it's going to give you your goals for that day and you can track on the on the app as well. You can, if you don't do the coaching on the app, which you get a first month free of coaching with your, when you order your device, you're going to get one month free of coaching on the app. Um, you can pay $19 a month and continue with the coaching. So to give you your individualized macro plan, maybe by that point, you know how metabolically flexible and you don't want that, but it'll still give you your score and your level without the, the coaching. Um, so... Oh, also, when you're working out, you're, it will add um, carbs for a, a medium to a heavier workout. So you'll get some extra carbs on your more active days. Yeah, so I think I said this, when you have a higher breath score, when you're in that four to five category, you are going to then have a lower carb day. And then when you start moving into the one to two category, you're going to have a moderate or higher carb day. So there are always going to be changes in the macros based on your score. So exciting thing is through watching this video and you know being a follower, you can um, check 
out my uh, discount. You can, or you can get a discount. You can get $50 off the Lumen and you get that first month of coaching. So now the Lumen I think is up to like $2.99. So you get $50 off that by using the code in the description. And we're going to hopefully try to figure out how to put a QR code up here um, so that you may be seeing that now or, and, and a link up here. So follow that link and get $50 off. Um, and I think the code is Dr. Meyer, just all in caps, Dr. D-R-M-E-Y-E-R, but there'll be a link to follow. And then if you want to maybe not do the Lumen, that's fine. I'm just telling you all about it. But if you want to learn more about um, insulin resistance and how to beat insulin resistance, how to become more insulin sensitive and more metabolically flexible, check out my insulin resistance free PDF, my insulin resistance cheat sheet. Gives you lots of information on talking to your doctor about insulin resistance, checking for insulin resistance, what your score means, and how to structure your diet appropriately. So thank you so much. Please check out my other videos on gut, hormone, and metabolic health. And um, like and share and subscribe. Help me keep the channel growing. I really, really appreciate your support. Another way to support the channel, if you're interested, is to order Dr. Quality Supplements at a discount through my full script dispensary, which there are links. There'll be links in the description on um, supportive, metabolically supportive agents that I use also there with my patients. Um, again, it's good to, or it's best to run everything by your healthcare provider because I can't function as your actual healthcare provider. So thanks for watching to the end. I so appreciate your support. Be kind to yourself, be kind to the world around you, and I'll see you real soon.